Hey folks, welcome to the holiday season. Uh, we understand that God has built in his economy celebrations. We see in the Old Testament numerous celebrations. Uh, probably the most popular, the most well-known uh, would be Passover. Also the Festival of Booths and of course the Festival of Lights called Hanukkah. And we understand that God builds these things into his economy for a reason. First of all, I think it's interesting that several of these festivals are built within the context of family, specifically Passover and Festival of Booths. In Passover, the dad goes and picks out the lamb, a uh, lamb without blemish that uh, foreshadows the coming of Jesus Christ, the perfect lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. And then they eat the meal as a family. They have numerous activities within the meal itself. They break the middle piece of matzah and they wrap it up and go hide it, which represents the broken body of Jesus. And when the kids find it, they get a reward. A festival of booze where the family moves out of the house for a week and they build a temporary shelter in the front yard to celebrate God's faithfulness throughout the wilderness journey. And these are powerful ways to teach our kids about God. And that's the second point. Not only are they given the context of family, but secondly, they're a great way to talk about Jesus Christ. Christ. That's true with the national celebration in Israel. It's true for us in America today with our celebrations. Of course, we're coming up on Thanksgiving right now. We celebrate God's faithfulness to give the uh, pilgrims a safe trip on the Mayflower. He sustained them during devastative losses in that first winter. And so it's a chance for us to teach our kids history and God's interaction in man's history. And third and finally, it's just a great way to teach our kids the importance of traditions. Uh, traditions tend to give context to our holidays. And the fact that most of the holidays in the Old Testament, most of the uh, festivals were given in the context of family, it helps us to create that unique family dynamic. I know at our house, we have a lot of traditions. Uh, on Thanksgiving, my oldest daughter goes hunting. Uh, secondly, my boys and I, we have a paintball battle in the morning. Then we ride four-wheelers uh, in the afternoon and we end up shooting guns before we all start cooking and grilling for the uh, evening meal. And our kids look so forward to the holidays, not because our traditions are something special or something expensive. It's just that they know this is what we do on that day, and therefore it gives that day merit. So these are three things to think about. That festivals, that celebrations are in the context of family. Secondly, it's a way to point our kids to Christ during these celebrations. And thirdly, it's a time to create unique family traditions to give context to these celebrations. I would encourage you especially to make these days count. Folks, our kids are here and they're gone so quickly. Let's help them to form good memories of our home and great thoughts of God. This is Kirk Smith with I Said She's Take 5, encouraging all of you to have a very blessed, happy Thanksgiving.